According to reports, Habib Nurmagomedov's father, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov, has tragically passed away. RT Sport is reporting that Abdulmanap has died in a Moscow hospital due to complications stemming from the COVID-19 infection aged just 57. Nurmagomedov Sr. had first fallen ill at the end of April in his homeland of Russia's Republic of Dagestan, where he was treated in a local hospital for pneumonia-like symptoms but refused to be tested for the coronavirus. After his condition worsened, Abdulmanap was sent by a special flight to Moscow where he was treated in a military hospital. It was there where he tested positive for COVID-19 and shortly after he suffered a heart attack brought on by the disease. Following heart surgery, Abdulmanap was placed into a medically induced coma and despite waking from it, his speech took some time to recover before he finally succumbed to the disease. MMA pros pay their respects on social media following the passing of Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov. This week ahead of UFC 251, all Brazilian fighters have been required to quarantine in the Brazilian hotel before flying out to Fight Island in Dubai. At the hotel, all fighters and teams were tested for COVID-19 and required to stay inside their rooms for 48 hours until the test results came back. <laughs> <laughs> Given the fighters were quarantined and had to stay in the room for two days, many fighters, including Amanda Rebass, posted footage of them training inside their rooms. Nico Price returns to training after his loss to Vicente Luque at UFC 249.
Green says he received negative backlash following his post-fight speech at UFC Vegas 3. Ever since I did this that interview for on ESPN about the Black Lives Matter and shit like that, like I've been getting a lot of good and a lot of bad. It's really interesting, you know? So I got cops hitting me up and they're like, thank you for what you said, you know? And then I got black people hitting me up and like, you're a and we hate what you said, you know? And I get it right now. I love my people, okay? First and foremost, I love my people. With that being said, I think that you need to kind of understand all types of life, walks of life, you know what I mean? And if, and if you ain't been on that side, you ain't gonna understand, you know? I grew up in foster care, you know, since I was like four years old. So I have a foster dad, his name is Jimmy B. And Jimmy B was a cop. He hurt his eye, he cut his eye doing a, uh, doing a, uh, a chase. During a chase, he was chasing a guy, I think he ran to a sign or something like that, or hit something in the dark, you know, and, and, and cut his eye. So he was no longer uh, able to perform. But uh, at the same time, Jimmy B is responsible for me, like, kind of starting my fighting career, you know? Jimmy B was my foster dad in, in the end. He sat me down in front of Ali tapes and was like, watch this shit. Like, he just knew. Like, he just knew. So, he put uh, he put me up on some Ali tapes. I watched Ali tapes. And as I started really watching the tapes and shit, uh, I started to kind of mimic Ali, the, the bounce and the jab. You know, that's where I get my jab from is Ali. Then he put me onto a speed bag, you know? And then I started, he, he's like, hey. He's like, he took me out in the garage and was like, hey, if you can get this down. It took me like three hours to get it down. Let's see how fast it takes you to learn this. So I sat out there for three hours, just boom, 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 trying to get the shit down, you know? And finally I got it. Yeah, okay. I see you. I see you, Burke. Um, yeah, so he taught me how to use a speed back. Um, this same white cop, you know, uh, he was the man in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? Like, I got niggas that was running around on the block looking to rob some shit, looking to take some shit. But they may see Jimmy B outside and 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 go over to Jimmy B house. Jimmy B would be, hey, come over here. Let me show you this. And have the kids playing with some shit instead of robbing shit, you know? Like, he was a really good dude, you know? So when I say, like, I fuck with cops and, and, I love, and there's good cops too, you know, it's like, this whole craziness with the Black Lives Matter, I get it, I get it, I get it. All I'm saying is that there's good cops too, you know, um, and everybody needs to come together and, and love each other. I'm not trying to preach no hate, you know, I'm really on some positivity right now, besides trying to get James Vick's bitch ass. Um, but besides that, I'm on some positivity, you know, I'm really trying to push good and good in people, you know, I want, I want nothing but love, you know. Uh, I've been, I had a negative life all my life, you know, and I, and I like to try to change that, you know. So, I just wanted to say that, that Jimmy B, like, I'm telling you, Dre, Marcus, Tato, all these niggas, badass niggas came to Jimmy B's house. And he always kept us entertained, you know. And that was a cop, you know, the white dude that didn't have to fuck with us. He didn't have to do none of that shit. He just did it out the kindness of his heart. So, we respect, you know, those guys that put that service out there. I think that's noble to go out there and, and do a service like that, you know, as long as you, you do it in, in the right, proper fashion, you know. I know there are some dirty cops out there. I've seen the videos, you know, but there's good cops too, and, and don't take it all out on the police, you know. We got to come together and figure out how to love each other. I'm trying to go back and train with you and Eli. I wonder who that is. Man, I really, but I really appreciate you guys listening to my stories and shit. I just like to come out. I really don't try to do it for the clout. I just try to share little stories here and there, you know, that you catch up on some shit. Hey, fuck it. You like it? You don't? Fuck it. Peace. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video. And don't forget to subscribe for daily MMA and combat sports news.